Okay, this is another M3. This is a more modern M3. Should be able to have good results, although it sounds like a lawnmower. I think I believe I shifted too early. Which is kind of a problem because, the, as we know, the set of Corsa, you win in the first lap. And, uh, can't do that. Is this an automatic? Not sure. And also, if you didn't know, people will turn into you like you don't exist. So you gotta be careful of that. Uh, apparently the cone doesn't mean anything to a set of Corsa because uh, I just squashed the cone and didn't matter. Went right across the grass and it was fine. Okay, so I'm liking the fact that I have engine power. That's definitely a plus. Something I haven't felt in a little while. Because we've gone with that old uh, M3 and that Z4. And they'll just uh, play without caring about the track limits. Okay, this is definitely an automatic, which I actually enjoy. And this is the other factor of Acetyl Corsa. Uh, the game doesn't care that you're there, it's going to turn into you. So, got to break a little bit more than we would prefer to. And also, extend the track, like uh, track limits are a thing of the past. Because, we want to go fast! So we're already losing a lot of time, and we're already in 5th out of 8th position, which means we're already in a position to lose this game. How encouraging. But, let's keep going. I think we have... Whoa. I'm just really stopping here. Um, yeah, let's just kick the cone out. Well, this is a bit of a one lap wonder. I don't know who is breaking so early. That was definitely a gaffe. That was a big mistake. Um, and this Z4 is apparently really slow, as we already knew, but look at the beautiful body, Ugh, nice curves, uh, bye, bye nice curves, see you next time, um, uh, next time we race, which is gonna be, uh, and this is another thing the AI does, is break really early and then kind of makes sense, so everybody gets bunched up together, like, uh, lovey dovey, lovey dovey. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's an opportunity to practice our beautiful racing moves and uh, allow traction control to take over and allow our dive bombing experience to ruin the match. It's beautiful, but late orange car. Alright, so it's actually a fun car to drive. It's, uh, in my personal opinion, artistically speaking, it's pretty ugly looking inside really overextend the track limits, uh, well, not the track limits, but I mean, I, I should have been there, I should have been hitting the apex, okay, get my drift, that, that was a drift, definitely, and, uh, should be hitting the apex again, but who cares, I'm, I'm in contention for second place, and I think we can make first quite easily if the AI keeps breaking at the wrong time, so I just need to concentrate on getting my shifts right, and let me see if this guy is a good player, Where's he break? He breaks it there. I'm gonna break a bit later. Shouldn't have breaked a bit later. Because that was definitely about three seconds lost. <laughs> so that's rough. Ooh. Nice cone bounce. Should get an award for that. Um I like this car, it's 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 controllable. I like the maneuverability of it, like the speed of it. I, so far, of all the cars, gotta say, um, it's the, it's not the prettiest, but it's definitely the best driver. But you do need to give it a bit of time to break. So it's definitely a heavier car, a bit like my G37. Unfortunately with time, regulations have made it so that you need to actually protect the driver. So the unfortunate side effect of that is that the cars can't be as light as we would like them to be. Which is to say light enough so that if you get in an accident, you definitely die. So, uh, yeah, yay progress. Okay. I went a bit quick on the accelerator there, but uh, I didn't want the stewards to see me because, you know, I was off the track. That's not a good thing. We want to definitely stay on track and also stay online. I mean, not online, you know, online, but online. Stay on the right racing line. Stay on the racing line. These guys stay on the racing line. Hit your apexes. 
before you start speeding, you know, speeding on a racetrack definitely occurs. You're speeding when you're not able to hit your apexes. I just made that up, but it's true. You should be controlling your speed so that you can hit the apex and then speed out of it. And, uh, looks like this car ahead of us is gaining. Which is uh, bad news for us because that means we're not gaining. Although last time we didn't make a mistake around here, so that means we're probably around the same, it's just that we need to brake a little earlier on this particular model because it's heavier. S sedan? Wait, 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 is this sedan or coupe? I see two door handles, but I, I don't really know. This is a, I'm trying to look as I try to make the corner properly as well. Uh, this is the braking zone, I think. Okay, brake, uh, I mean, protection. Yeah, is this a coupe? Might be a coupe. You know, it doesn't matter because it's so tall, it's, I don't, I don't like tall cars. There's something about me that just, just likes tall cars. Ah, <sighs> suffering. You know. The desires of someone. It, it, isn't it funny? The shorter a car is, the more expensive it is. It's like the less car you get, the more it costs. So uh, if you think about it, like, uh, like mine, like a G37, you know, it costs you know nine thousand dollars secondhand, two thousand eight G37. Um, then you go up to a uh, let's see. Well, the Mazda uh, is an exception to that. The uh, The really small car that everybody has to go around the track. Miata. Miata is an exception to that. It's cost effective and small. But uh, you know, you have a Hyundai Genesis, kind of tall. Uh, the the coupe. Uh, you have the GR86, which is a little shorter, but you know, not really powerful at all. And then you get into your Porsche. So the Porsches are expensive. I mean, if you buy them secondhand, they're you know, little prices, but they're not anything crazy. And then, um, if you go get away from those and you go into a uh, Corvette, it's probably the next expensive thing. And then it's starting to get low, but it's starting to get really expensive. And you have the Elise, the Lotuses, and then you have Lamborghinis and uh, Italians. Okay, so uh, second, that's acceptable. That gives us a, a nice metal, and that's all we want. 